Hello friends, in this opportunity I'd like to share an example of presupposition analysis, okay? Um, let's get a book. The first type is single type of presupposition. It means that in one sentence, you may find only one type of presupposition. Okay, now let's have a look at the first example. Okay, the first sentence is I wanted to go to a movie with my girlfriend Aliana. From this sentence, the type of presupposition we can found is only existential. Why? Because we can just focus on the noun phrase and possessive adjective existent. We have movie, my girlfriend, and Aliana. Uh, from that, the presuppositions are, first, there was a movie, uh, second, he had a girlfriend, or the speaker had a girlfriend and the last because Aliana is known as a girl name so there was somebody called Aliana right so let's continue to the second the second sentence was in um, I wasn't aware that I was wrong uh, this shows the examples of uh, factive type it is because the sentence contains the word aware. It is almost similar with um, new or realized. This means um, the adjective clause following the word is the factive. So the presupposition is I was wrong. Right. Let's continue to the third. Um, the sentence, oh no, she did again. Okay, she did again. This sentence contains lexical indicative words, that is, again. This shows re repeating action. Thus, the presupposition simply must say she did the same thing before, okay, because that is again. Um, as we have known before, if we are talking about um, lexical, there is stopped, started, something like that. So, when somebody said, I, uh, um, she started complaining. It means that she never complained before. I hope you still remember with that. Okay, now let's continue to the fourth. The sentence is, uh, what are you doing? Okay, what are you doing? It means that the structure indicators that is the WH question, what? Okay, so easily you may find the presupposition what are you doing? You are doing. Okay, you are doing something. Okay, and then the fifth. The sentence, no, I just imagine, okay, no, I just imagine that you are my wife. Okay. I just imagine that you are my wife represents non-factive since um, there is a word imagine, okay, there is a word imagine, which means the rest information must be just imagination or non-factive. Okay, when somebody say, I imagine something, it means that the rest information must be just the imagination. Okay, it is non-factive. All the same as the previous example, if I'm not mistaken, I dreamt. Okay, dream, 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 something like that. Um, it is almost similar. Uh, the, the rest information must be non-factive. Okay. And then the last is um, I wish I could love to. Okay. I wish I could love to. I wish I could love to. This is a counterfactual type of presupposition because there is wish. Okay. It is very low possibility which means not possible for somebody to do. So the presupposition from I wish I could love to is I couldn't love to. Okay, that's the example of one type of presupposition in one sentence. Now let's continue to the example where you can find more than one type of presupposition in one sentence. Okay, now we have the, sen the, uh, the sentence or utterance, what the hell have you done to my car? Okay. What the hell have you done to my car? From here, easily we can find the existential. Where is it? Because we have a possessive um, uh, adjective, my. Okay, so I have a car is the first presupposition as the existential. Okay, and then the second type is um, structural. 
How could you say that? Because there is a type of WH question, what? Okay, what the hell have you done to my car? It means that the presupposition of the structure, uh, you have done something to my car. Okay, so from one sentence, you have two types of presupposition. All right. And then another example is the utterance, I knew it was my fault. From that utterance, we can find, again, the existential. Uh, the indicator is mine, again, okay, so I have a four, okay, I have a four. And then um, the second type is factive, what is that? Because uh, the indicators is new, okay, I knew, I knew that it was my fault. It was my fault is the presupposition of factive. All right, friends, from that, it means that you have to remember, you have to be careful when you are going to analyze or digest the presupposition in every one sentence because it may contain not only one, it could it probably uh, two or more, okay? So I want you to do something with the short text I gave um, here, okay? A short text to be analyzed over here is um, I sometimes had a lunch in a restaurant near my boarding house. I saw her sitting at the red table again. Suddenly I started wondering why I never tried to express this feeling. If only I could move my face from my head, I would put it oh, uh, into my pocket because I realized that I'm not that gentle to be obvious. Okay, so from that short sentence, uh, short uh, passage, I hope you can uh, analyze um, uh, by using the presupposition. Okay, so thank you so much um, for watching. Bye.